There's my good side. There it is. Good morning. So I want to, I want to do a series of, of live broadcasts focused on what I consider to be vestigial social constructs. And hopefully this gets some views and I get some feedback and I get to, I get to get a taste of what your take on the matter is. So <clears throat> I don't, I, you know, you hear people like, Oh, this is a social construct. And like, you know, or people that, that, that they anything they recognize anytime they recognize something like that they're like oh that's a total bummer like we're so brainwashed but it's not it's not necessarily the case and it's not such a it's a not such a bad thing it's kind of like when you see memes about like first world pr problems like it's kind of like that it's it's kind of a it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a luxury <laughs> to have to have to have that as a complaint that you, that you're recognizing social constructs in the world. So like, for example, time, like I don't think innately living beings on earth perceive time in a linear format, like the way we do, like the way we have watches, the way we clock in and out. Um, I, like when you're a kid, I don't, or you're a child, I, I, I like think th it's like, I think you're just, you just kind of start You start hearing the adults around you like, we got to go. We're going to be late. It's this time. It's breakfast time. It's bedtime. You start thinking about time as a line. And, and you really, you're a point. One perspective is that you're a point on a line and you can't see the line. Um, so perceiving time in a linear format is like a human social construct. Like we invented that perspective like otherwise just being alive like do you think a bird like is waiting till noon to to, to eat a worm like they, they're just existing um so i kind of want to hear about what y'all think are, are kind of like antiquated or or vestigial social constructs like um good morning everybody um so like i think there, there's some stuff that that aren't necessarily as applicable as, as they once were. So like, I think, I think, um, at least from what I've experienced, uh, in, in, in culinary culture is that we salt and season like the life out of our food, like especially our meat. So like if, and I don't really have any empirical evidence or data. Like I don't have like, um, like a written document documenting why people, used to uh like why we started salting meats but um from what i can like kind of piece together from what i kind of just read and heard people talk about it's it's we didn't have refrigeration like we had to preserve our food we had to salt it so it wouldn't spoil so it wouldn't get you know so we could have a steak without getting diarrhea um but now we have refrigerators there's a refrigerator behind me like i can keep I can keep uh, uh, all kinds of food in there with, with, with not, not necessarily with, 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 with salt on it. Um, and I, I can just put it in a frying pan and cooking it and I'm not going to get sick and it's going to taste good, especially if it's a good cut. Like, I'm sorry if you're, if you're, if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, I actually do want to do another series of videos um, about, kind of like a bit like a three-part venn diagram of perception perspective and reality so like if you if you got if you if you if you if meat is murder to you uh, i respect your 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 perspective and your in your perception um but for the for the for, for the sake of me making a point right now i'm talking i was that's a conversation i had the other night about 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 salt and meat and how oh, I, th I feel like all people like over season their food and it's actually not good for you you think about um so, so the three of the most sought after flavors right you, you're probably craving throughout the day is uh one of them is is salt one of them's sugar and one of them's fat and again this is just kind of i don't have like a reference to give you right now if you if you want to like fact check me and, and and tell me I'm, I'm like just absolutely wrong like i definitely welcome i welcome this like like challenge accepted i like i hope someone is saying that in their head while they're listening to this right now um but those those three flavors are like actually not commonly occurring in nature. Like you have to like go find that. Um, 
but we, but we need those. We need salt. If we don't have salt, fat, and sugar, I mean, of course, we need. There's all kinds of other macro nutrients and and, and vitamins and minerals and and a, a, a lot of other things going on. But I think the three that are messing us up right now, um, especially um, in the in the in the Western world, especially in this in this country, especially from what I, from my perspective right now, that's a whole other series about my perspective um, and your perspective um, and where they intersect. But let me get back to the focus of this broadcast is those three flavors. So salt, sugar, and fat. Like we could just go to the grocery store and eat more, um, more salt, sugar, and fat like in a meal than like hundreds of years ago. Then people would that, that, that a person would be able to like consume like in like a season or like a year. Like it's, it's something ridiculous like this. And some of this I'm kind of regurgitating from uh, I think it was like a like a, a Netflix documentary called Food Inc. It was like one of those like 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 you aren't woke, wake up, like you're eating wrong. Like it's like one of those documentaries. Um, but I I, I I think some of it's sensationalized, and that's that, again, this is I don't want to step too much into the 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 next series I want to do about perspective perception and 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 the the three dimensional um, intersection that they make in our existence um but uh i just kind of want to know what your thoughts are on vestigial or antiquated i think maybe antiquated makes more sense um i kind of come from um a brief medical background so i like to use terms like that it, it, it's i like to i like to find the the analog and the parallel between um medicine uh, because we all got bodies, like we all have physiology, and I feel like that language, like if you translated uh, someone using medical terminology, like I, I think it translates very well. Um, but I kind of want to hear your thoughts about um, vestigial social constructs, like maybe if you have an example or if you have one that you'd like to hear me talk about or something you'd like to talk to me about, like I'd like to, I'd really like to get some some feedback. Um, as you can see. Um, my kitchen's kind of messy. You can't see the floor. That's on purpose because it's 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 batshit in here right now. Um, so I gotta go and 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 fix my life right now. So I hope, I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you for watching. Um, I just I miss you too, Michelle. Hey. Um, um, no, I'm super glad. I'm definitely super pumped to 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 see that it's my 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 boy Cameron Halley. Um, and then McClanahan, we used to be, but we, we're, we are brothers in arms. Um, I don't wear a uniform. I'm out of regs these days, but those are my, those are my boys. I miss you guys. Michael Link, we used to ride the bus and skate and, and, and ride bikes and trade music back and forth back in the day. Um, Michelle, um, definitely was a big influence on my decision to join the military and we used we used to we used to get rowdy you know in our party days and uh, i'm pretty sure um afforded the opportunity to have free time and, and child care um and designated drivers like we could probably get the band back together um i miss you all um thank you for being a part of this uh we all got stuff to do um let's get back to work